Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today, we're tackling a frustrating issue that many Django developers encounter. Our viewer is facing a problem where their Django channels work perfectly on their local machine, but fail to connect on the server. They receive an error during the WebSocket handshake, specifically a 404 response code. Let's dive into the details and see how we can resolve this issue together. Okay, we're back with another tech video. Now I'm gonna go through your question, answer it, and hopefully you get the solution. Now remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me and you'll get there to that resolution. All right, let's continue on to the video. The first step in troubleshooting your WebSocket issue is to check your Django channel's configuration in the settings.py file. Ensure that the channel layers are correctly set up to connect to your Redis server. Next, verify that your WebSocket URL in the JavaScript code is correctly formatted. It should match the routing defined in your Django application. Now, let's examine your Nginx configuration. Ensure that the proxy settings allow WebSocket connections by including the necessary headers for upgrading the connection. Finally, check your server logs for any errors during the WebSocket handshake. This can provide insights into why the connection is failing. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If you're facing a WebSocket handshake error with Django channels on your server, here's a solution. The user encountered a 404 error while using Daphne in a Docker setup. They provided an Nginx configuration that includes a map for connection upgrades and an upstream for the Daphne server. In the server block, they set the root directory and specified locations for static files and the WebSocket connection. The key part is the location for Daphne where they set proxy headers to handle the WebSocket upgrade properly. Remember, the name Daphne in the configuration refers to the container running the Daphne process. And that's it. I hope that that's helped find the solution that you're looking for. And if it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. Every time you hit it, it really helps. Now, I'll see you next time. Next time you need some technical help. And until then, have a good one.